You're watching WCVB TV Channel 5 in high definition. This is News Center 5 at 11. Local live coverage you can count on. If you read this check carefully, you would know that it said it's worth $10.50. But if you read who signed the check, look closely. Well, you'll see it's worth a whole lot more than that. It was signed by Neil Armstrong just hours before he landed on the moon. And tonight there is an intense bidding war to own this rare piece of history. New Center 5's Mary Selena has the story, and it's new at 11. They say timing is everything, particularly true if you deal in autographs. Take this personal check signed by astronaut Neil Armstrong, up for auction on the eve of the 40th anniversary of Armstrong's first walk on the moon. It was signed on the, the day of the launch, uh, bef you know, right before Neil Armstrong goes into space and becomes you know, the Christopher Columbus of the 20th century. And for him to, to take the time to pay a debt, should anything happen to him, just, it just makes it phenomenal. That's right, he said pay a debt. Turns out Armstrong owed a friend in mission control 10 bucks. He paid up before launch just in case. And as the story goes, told his friend, don't cash it, I'll be back. And then it'll be worth a lot more. Boy, was he right. It's already up to $17,000, and the auction is just heating up. We expected it to go between twenty and thirty thousand uh, dollars and, and now I, I, I'm thinking it might even go higher, so we're pretty thrilled. Bobby Livingston of RR Auction in Amherst, New Hampshire, says timing has a lot to do with all the most coveted autographs. Something signed by our forefathers always goes for top dollar, such as this letter signed by George Washington right before he became our first president, or this early photo shoot contract signed by Norma Jean Doherty shortly before she became Marilyn Monroe. Then there's this hastily drawn up receipt for a $5,000 bonus that Elvis signed when record executive Sam Phillips sold Presley's contract to RCA Records. It's one of the most short-sighted deals ever. Sam Phillips sold a, a billion dollar enterprise for $35,000. It's you know, signed November 21st, 1955, and if you know your Elvis, by early 1956, he's the biggest star in the world. Talk about timing. As for the Armstrong check, the clock is ticking on that auction. In the next 24 hours, bidding is expected to skyrocket. I'm Mary Saladna, News Center 5.